Tracking lot numbers in your warehouse with Activate leads to better inventory visibility and control. Each product that you add to Activate will require a control type to be chosen. These are things like serial numbered, lot numbered, or standard. The control type actually determines the values that are required in each transaction for this product. So for example, if you use lot numbering, you're gonna be required to enter the lot number on every transaction related to this product. Using lot numbers allows you to also use actual costs per lot number. Um, as you can see in this example, most of my unit costs are about $10, but you can see that one of them is $14.24 and if I was just using average cost, I may not know exactly where um, the lot number that bumped up the cost is or what happened to it. Activate will require that your lot number be entered when you receive in new inventory. Other inventory transactions, um, like inventory adjustments though, will have a drop down of all of the lot numbers available within that warehouse. Um, this allows you to have an accurate on hand and available quantities at your lot number level. As you receive a product or manufacture a product, um, you'll be able to enter the expiration or best buy dates. On all inventory transactions, including sales picking, you'll now be able to see that expiration date and choose the correct lot number accordingly. So if you have a customer that's requiring that you have a shelf life of at least six months, you may have to go in and see which expiration dates you have to make sure you have a one with a shelf life of at least six months. Then you can run the inventory lot series report to actually review which lot numbers to adjust from inventory if you haven't sold them by their best buy date. Manufacturing and Activate can also be tracked at the lot number level. This is for quality concerns as well as for traceability purposes. If your manufacturing process includes multiple steps with sub-assemblies, using lot numbers will actually allow you to track each step accordingly. As you use a specific component in your assembly process, you'll also be able to select the lot number used in this batch if, for instance, you have a lot number that you don't have enough of, um, you can absolutely combine multiple lot numbers onto one batch as well. Sales order picking for lot numbers can be done as you enter the order if you have a specific lot number that you want the warehouse to pick or you can have the warehouse select the lot number and enter it into Activate after the fact in the pick list, or you can also use Activate mobile devices to scan barcodes if you like. The track and trace feature in Activate actually allows you to not only see where your lot number was sold, but also everything that went into making that lot number or any other transactions that you may have done with it. In my example here, this is a manufactured product. I can see exactly who I sold it to and when, but then I can also see every single lot number for the components that went into making my final good. Thanks for joining us and learning more about lot numbers in Activate.